Good morning, John Glenn. Today is Friday, January 13th, 2023. I'm Gavin, and this is The View from the Falcon's Nest. Happy Falcon birthday to students celebrating their personal annual milestone in the next week. These folks are Abriel Baxter, Ethan and Abigail Kraft, Miles Duckett, James Greathouse, Cadence Howard, Taylor Jackson, Eldon and Catherine Filson, Slade Rosborough, or Rosbra, and Tyler Shar. There will be a TAB meeting in the Media Center on Friday, January 20th, during SRT. The John Glenn National Honor Society will be hosting a blood drive on Thursday, January 26th. All students 16, age or 16 years of age or older are eligible to donate, and every person that donates will receive a free South Bend Medical Foundation sweatshirt. Anyone interested in signing up or receiving more information should stop by Mr. Merrill's room. Every donation can help up to three people in need. Now to weather with Tristan. Good morning, John Glenn, and today for the weather, it's going to be partly cloudy with a high of 31 and a real feel of 20. Winds will be coming in from the south at 15 miles per hour now for the weekly forecast. On Saturday, it's going to be a high of 37, rainy with a low of 29, and on Sunday, we're going to have a high of 41, snowy with a low of 27. On Monday, it's going to be partly cloudy with a low of 33, and now for the, week, and now, now, now for the main desk with sports. The South Bend Tribune's weekly girls basketball poll is out, and there have been some changes. Washington remains number one in a week. In, in a week, the team was ranked as high as number eight in the nation. But Mishawaka Marion, a 3A school that has only lost to 4A schools this year, leapfrogged Northridge into the number two, number two spot. Northridge is third, Fairfield followed by Penn, Fairfield, Elkhart, Northwood, LaVille, Mishawaka, and Bethany Christian. The Lady Falcons pulled out a close win over a very scrappy and determined St. Joe Lady Indian team at home last night. The Falcons were led in scoring by our senior, Kennedy, Kennedy Hayden, on senior night with nine. Lucy Hayden had eight, and Addison Reese chipped in five. The Lady Falcons resume play tomorrow afternoon at Winnemac. JV start will be at noon, and varsity will follow. With us today is Mrs. Goodlink, who is the coach of our bowling team. The team recently had some great success. Please tell us about this success. Recently, we went to regionals, I mean sectionals, and we had two girls that were able to qualify for regionals. Out of 58 girls, we had one, Alexander Burkholder, who placed six, and Bailey Goodlink, who placed eight. Of all of our kids, boys and girls, we had eight out of 10 that bowled above their average, so they did a really good job. How many hours does a team practice or spend practicing during the week? We have one practice a week, which is like an hour and a half, but many, many of our members practice other times. They go open bowling and do other things. Is there anything else you'd like to share? This year we had a pretty young girls team and we will be looking for new bowlers for the girls team next year. And this year on our boys side, we had three new bowlers who did really good job, but they are also graduating. So we will be looking for boys also. Thank you, Mrs. Goodlink, and thank you for joining us. Not a lunch with Tristan. Today for lunch, we're going to have a ham and cheese sandwich, corn dog, baked beans, and steam, steamed broccoli and fresh fruit. That's all we have for today, Falcons, and have an amazing day.